Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. George Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at today is the Dry Dock Vanilla Porter. This is probably the beer that I'm most excited about from Dry Dock Brewing Company. I love porters and stouts. Vanilla porters, mmm, sounds absolutely delightful. This is 5.4% alcohol by volume. Dry Dock Brewing Company is out of Aurora, Colorado. Uh, this beer is courtesy of Brian, Thrash Metal Homebrew and Barbecue. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate you sending me all these wonderful beers. I will post a link to his channel in the description below so you can guys can go check him out. He does great beer reviews. Uh, he's a tech guy as well. He works on old computers and software and all that stuff. And, of course, barbecue videos as well. So let's go ahead and get right into this thing and see what we're working with. I've had a lot of good vanilla porters over the years. Actually, I think every vanilla porter that I've had has been very enjoyable. It says on the label, when life gives you vanilla beans, make beer. I could not agree more. All right, here's the pour. Get a little aggressive there at the end to develop a nice head. All right, about a finger's worth of a nice tan creamy looking head the appearance is very very dark brown almost black but when i do hold it up to the light i can see just a smidge of brown on the bottom of the glass the aroma wow vanilla that is so vanilla mm, yes let's see what it says on the label a brown porter with a generous dose of real vanilla beans added after fermentation giving it an amazing complexity and a smooth rich flavor there is nothing subtle about this beer. Man, this smells absolutely incredible. Nice vanilla notes, really strong on the vanilla. A little bit of chocolate after you get through the vanilla as well, probably from the roasted malt. I don't think they add chocolate. They just add vanilla to this, but as a matter of fact, there you go. Porter with vanilla beans added. So I'm getting vanilla beans. I'm getting a little bit of like a milk chocolate note. I'm getting some nice roasty, toasty bread notes. Yeah. Toasted malt character on the aroma as well. It smells very malty. It smells like it's going to be relatively sweet and almost dessert-like. I'm not picking up on any hot character on the nose, which is perfectly fine with me when it comes to this type of beer. I definitely want it more on the sweet side. Mm, this is probably... Okay, so I've had a lot of vanilla porters, like I said earlier. This is probably the strongest vanilla aroma on a vanilla porter that I've ever smelled which is very pleasant. Okay, it smells absolutely delightful, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Mm. Ooh, mama, that's good. That is good. All right, yeah, tons of just bursting with fresh vanilla bean flavor. A little bit of that milk chocolate coming through after. It's got the nice toasted bread notes in the middle of the sip. The finish is smooth, creamy, dreamy, decadent, delicious, velvety smooth all the way through. It has that creamy mouthfeel. It is just super robust and full of flavor. The body is still relatively light, though. It's only 5.4% alcohol, so you could drink a few of these, no problem. It is more on the malty side, more sweet. So... After four or five of them, maybe you wouldn't want to drink any more, depending on your style, just because maybe the sweetness would kind of build up a little bit. Um, but for me, this is a easy all-day drink. I could drink these all day. No problem. Mm. Man, this is good. This may be the best vanilla porter that I've ever had. No joke. Best by July 28th, 2020, so we're still well within the freshness date. Absolutely incredible. So far, this is my favorite beer, other than the Lime Hefeweizen Homebrew that Brian sent me. This is just outstanding. The vanilla flavor with this is just so beautiful. I guess maybe it's the intensity. A lot of the vanilla porters, you get the vanilla, but there's a lot more of the roasty malt character that you get. There is that here with this beer. It definitely has great malt character, great roasty, toasty notes in the middle of the sip. 
it's definitely very beer like in that sense, but the vanilla is so over the top in the best possible way. It's absolutely delightful. I love it. I absolutely love this beer. Look at the nice head retention. Just a perfect appearance as well. A little bit of splotchy lacing around the glass there. This is a 97 out of 100 for me. It's absolutely delightful. It's getting up there towards world class for the style. I couldn't recommend it more to you guys. If you like vanilla, if you like porters, you're absolutely going to be blown away by this beer. And the 5.4% alcohol range with the, um, I mean, the fact that it's only 5.4%, I could drink a few of these. I wish Brian, you should have just sent me a six pack of this. I would have just enjoyed that. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. 97 out of 100. Thanks again to Thrash Metal Homebrew and Barbecue, uh, Brian, for sending me all these wonderful beers. And like I said, his channel link will be in the description below as well as right there. So definitely go check him out. He does great stuff on his channel. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Like I said, 97 out of 100. If you can find Dry Dock, Beers in your area, definitely worth checking out, especially the Vanilla Porter. It's awesome, awesome stuff. So hope you're all having a wonderful day, guys. And until next time, cheers, everybody.